Hi and welcome back to Just Maria D. It is indeed Maria D with another IGTV tutorial. What you see on my screen now is the A to Z screen recorder which I have been using today to take a screen capture of a game on my phone that I want to turn into an Instagram TV video. As usual I am editing in Camtasia with a snoring dog under my desk. I use an Android phone and I am using InShot as my app for editing videos on my phone currently. So just a reminder that I'm recording my phone screen so of course it is going to be long and thin like this. Just to frame what I'm doing here I want to do an Instagram TV video that is based on playing Tetris. Okay so without giving away the theme of the video what that means is that in order to make that video I have had to record myself playing the game. <laughs> So the cheeky side of this tutorial is that if you want to see the finished product, you are going to have to go to my Instagram page to actually see why in the world am I recording myself playing Tetris. <laughs> it just so happens that today I need screen capture footage for the video that I want to make. But this tutorial still works if you are using any kind of camera footage that is recorded in the portrait position. You can still use that to make an Instagram TV video. Now to load up InShot. So we find it on our phone and we click video because that's what we're making. We're going to make a new video. I'm going to load in the intro that you saw me make the other day just by clicking import. And then I'm going to change the ratio that this video will be made in so that it can fit IGTV. In this instance, it's nine by 16 that I'm using. Once that is done, we are going to add the footage that we've just recorded. And I'm going to start editing my Tetris footage using the program. So first I'm gonna do is take any volume off that is on there. I did that by clicking on the screen on the particular piece of footage that I wanted to edit. This is a really intuitive program and it is not very difficult to use at all. Now we're going to start to trim our video. For me, this may mean reloading the same piece of footage in a couple of times so that I can get the bits that I want to use in each section. So for instance, you're looking at black screen a moment ago. I don't want that black screen in my video. So I may have to edit, reload that footage, edit, reload that footage in order to get it to run in the sequential eye-catching way that I would like it to look on screen. I just want very clear, concise gameplay. So at the moment, that's what I'm doing is trimming it down to where I clear the first level because that is all I need for the video that I want to make. When using this program, you can click on the zoom selection, which will give you a bigger view of what you are doing to make it a bit easier to see. So as you can see, we've just reached that first level. And so I'm going to try and trim it to the exact amount just there. Once we have got it trimmed to where we want it, we can start doing other things like adding music and messing with the speed. So originally I chose it to go two times the speed, but later on I scale it back to one and a half times the speed, making sure that I click on all the different pieces of footage in my timeline so that they are all running at the same speed. Once we have worked out how quickly we want our video to run, we can do things like add music. There are two choices there, featured and my music. Now I have chose my music and I have downloaded a track which I had on my Google Drive where I keep various things so that I can interchange quickly between what I'm doing on my computer and what I'm doing on my phone. Now. I am adjusting the length of that track down to the video size. Originally I thought it was about 49 seconds, turns out it's about 58 seconds thereabouts. So I'm having to just jiggle about with the, with the size of the track to make sure that it hits the right mark in terms of my video length. I'm also going to add a fade out function in a moment so that when it starts to hit the end of my video, the music as the name suggests fades out. As soon as you are happy with the edit, you hit save. You can keep the draft if you like and save it in 1080 and wait for it to convert so that we can upload it into our Instagram account. So there you have it, a IGTV video of Tetris. 
if you want to find out why in the world I'm making videos about Tetris, please go across to my Instagram and check that out. And remember that this tutorial works exactly the same way whether you are using game footage that you've captured on something like A to Z game recorder or whether you are using video that you have recorded from your phone. It is exactly the same process for using InShot to make videos for IGTV. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. I have been just Maria D. You have been awesome and uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye. Mm -hmm.